terms of establishing Penang as one of the major players of medical devices. So, uh, as I said, uh, we are very honoured that Hemonetics have chosen Penang, and that would uh, give us an added boost to the efforts, as I said, to be one of the leading players on medical devices. And they are number one uh, in terms of blood management. And here, I think you will look at everything related to medical markets, blood and plasma, surgical suites, hospitals, transfusion services. Yeah, in any hospital, blood is essential. Without blood, if you have no hospitals. So I think this is where they come in. And their plasma, of course, they are right at the, at the forefront. And here, uh, total area, 12.26 acres, 8 count, 700. These are all top notch employees. So uh, we are very proud to have them here. And uh, we hope that uh, when they are completed by 214, they are able to support their uh, headquarters in Massachusetts, Boston, in Boston, Massachusetts. And uh, of course, we'll supply the entire Asia Pacific region. Now, in uh, last year, Malaysia's medical devices exports amounted to 12.9 billion. Uh, this is a uh, huge. The total market is uh, 440 billion US dollars. 440 billion US dollars. So I think this is something that we uh, we would want to uh, develop. And uh, because of another stuff, uh, saw in my in my in my in my statement. And what we want to say here is that uh, you know you look across that, you know that building is most. No Bose is number one in terms of uh, sound. So they are the sound, uh, the people. So we are here across uh, hemonotics. Uh, across here from Bose is hemonotics, it's blood. So you have number one in terms of sound, number one in terms of blood. And both from Boston. So I say we are, I think uh, in that sense, uh, uh, Batu Kawan is slowly becoming from a jungle, a green site is becoming a premier site. I'm sure there are very many exciting announcements that we'll be making for the next few months. Number one in sound, number one in blood. Uh, I think that one will let them announce it. But you hit come 700, you can see. The scale will not be smaller than those. So this is our ability to drive, I think, quality and marquee names. How many percent of Bangkok in Australia are understanding about Bangkok? Those sold and occupied in Australia. I think we are, I think we are now uh, uh, rapidly approaching uh, one and a half really. But of course we are increasing our land bank, so I think there will still be some of the all we have to do is a few and we will receive it anyway, fine. It's basically except they don't have one. They don't want to be three and so on. So out of that, if you don't have that big number, all you have to do is just punch yourself and go this kind of thing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Chief Minister, thank you for being here with us today. You honor us with your presence and all of our distinguished guests. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to share this very memorable day with each of us. It's my distinct pleasure to be here with you in Penang today. We selected this location to be the home of our company's Asian operations. This exciting initiative has become a reality for us due to the support and assistance of the leaders that are here with us today, the organizations they represent, and the leadership of the medical device companies located here in Penang. I'd like to begin by offering all of you my sincere thanks and heartfelt congratulations. There are some of you that I'd like to mention individually. First, we're pleased to recognize and thank the Malaysian Investment Development Authority. MIDA has assisted our company since we declared our intention to invest in the manufacturing and services sectors. We look forward to working with them as we implement our project. Their wise counsel on government policies and procedures continues to be very important for us. Second, 
We recognize and thank Biotech Corporation and also the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation and the Ministry of Finance, both of which support Biotech Corporation. We also recognize the Biotech Corporation's governing body, the Biotechnology Implementation Council, and Biotech's corporate, corporate Corporation's Advisor, the Biotechnology International Advisory Panel, both chaired by the Honorable Prime Minister of Malaysia. They've been instrumental in recognizing our value propositions in R&D and commerce, and providing the support with financial assistance and developmental services. Third, we recognize and thank Invest Penang for sharing our vision that this initiative will promote profitable and growing business activity, benefiting both Penang and Hemanetics. Finally, we recognize and thank the Penang Development Corporation, whose dedication to the socioeconomic development of Penang and to creating employment opportunities for the people of Penang have made a very favorable impression on our company. We thank these leaders and ask them to pass along our gratitude to the members of their organizations. We feel welcome in our new Malaysian home. I'd like to share a bit of our company's background and history with you, as well as our reasons for selecting Penang for this new operation. Hemanetics was founded 42 years ago on the premise that the medical world's access to a safe and reliable blood supply could be advanced and improved through innovation. We serve both sides of the blood supply chain, the collectors who collect blood and blood components, and hospitals who use blood products in delivering patient care. On the collection side, we've become the leader in developing new methods and techniques for collecting blood components from donors. And in hospitals, we've led the development of methods and techniques for salvaging and returning blood shed during certain surgeries, and limiting transfusion of blood products to those patients who truly need it. I'll now provide a brief overview of our company, the products we offer, and the markets we serve. It's clear that the Asia-Pacific region is important for us today, and growing and important for us in the future. After this brief overview, I'll conclude by sharing with you our need for an operation in the Asia-Pacific region and our selection of Penang for that operation. Hemanetics employs over 4,500 people and we generate about 1 billion US dollars in annual revenue. We sell our products in over 80 countries around the world and we currently serve a $4 billion market. Our business is organized in three segments, plasma collection, blood and blood component collection, and hospital. Our company provides innovative products that are used in collecting blood, as well as products used in surgery to ensure that blood is not given unnecessarily. Let me provide a, a bit more detail on each of these segments, starting with collection. We serve the commercial plasma collection market with devices, disposables, and software that are used in the collection of plasma which is ultimately used in the manufacturing of plasma-derived biopharmaceuticals, life-saving drugs like IVAG and albumin. In the future, our plasma devices will be manufactured by Sanmina here in Penang, mm -hmm. while our disposables will continue to be manufactured in the United States. Our blood center business serves blood and blood component collectors with devices, disposables, and software that are used in the collection of blood and blood components, which are ultimately used in clinical settings, primarily hospitals. In the future, these devices will also be manufactured in, uh, by Sanmina here in Penang, and disposable kits will be made in our new facility here in Penang as well. We strive to produce these disposable kits near our customers, so production of these kits is done in Europe and North America as well. We also provide solutions for hospitals that treat patients with blood needs. These solutions help avoid costly blood transfusions where they can safely be avoided, and analytical tools are used that help hospitals manage scarce and valuable blood supplies. In doing so, we directly impact the care of the patient in a very positive manner. Our hospital offering includes software that facilitates analyzing hospital data to identify opportunities to be more efficient in blood use. 
We supply devices that recover a patient's blood shed during surgery so that blood components can be returned to the patient. Patients are best served with their own blood whenever that's possible. We also provide diagnostic tools for our hospital customers. Our TEG product analyzes blood clotting and helps surgeons make key decisions about patient care. And our blood storage devices and software ensure that the best, freshest blood is available to each patient in surgery. In summary, our hospital business serves clinicians and devices, serves clinicians with devices, disposables, and software that are used to help clinicians make the best blood management decisions while meeting the needs of the patients that they serve. In the future, these devices will be made in Penang by Sanmina, and the disposable kits for the Asian and emerging markets will also be made here in Penang at our new facility. As you can see, our operations here in Penang will play an important role in the future for Humanetics. The markets we serve with these products are large and global, so let me tell you a little bit about each of these markets. Each of the markets we serve play important roles in delivering effective blood management for many of our customers. Importantly, the blood center market, which will be served by our new Penang facility, is the largest representing roughly 45% of our revenue. As I said earlier, we're a global company selling our products in over 80 countries <coughs> around the world. Nearly 50% of our revenue is generated outside the United States and the Asia Pacific region, including Japan, is a large and growing market for us. The emerging markets in Asia, South America, and Eastern Europe represent growth opportunities. China is a market we will serve with our Penang operations, and we've had great growth resulting from our commercial investment there in recent years. We've grown to nearly $40 million of annual revenue in China, and nearly 100 million of annual revenue in emerging markets with roughly 20% revenue growth rates in each of the BRIC countries, Brazil, Russia, India, and China, over the past four years combined. So the Asia-Pacific region is one that is growing faster among the markets that we serve. We've expanded to better support that growth with commercial headquarters located in Shanghai and our distribution headquarters located in Hong Kong. But our manufacturing operations have not similarly evolved in locations that best serve our growing Asia-Pacific customers. That brings me to the need for an operation base here in the Asia-Pacific region near our fastest growing customer base. We believe our innovations have resulted in equipment, disposable, software, and service offerings that have helped to advance healthcare considerably. The world does have a safe and reliable blood supply, and hospitals increasingly have the tools they need to avoid unnecessary transfusions. As a result, patient care is improving, and the costs to achieve such care are coming under better control. Those two important objectives, improving patient care and the keeping costs of that care under control, continue to be guiding principles of effective blood management, and our mission of expanding this globally has led to our need for a new manufacturing operation. The Asia Pacific region is a growing market for us as healthcare capabilities are advancing rapidly. Serving the growing markets for our products in Japan, China, Australia, New Zealand, and other Asia Pacific countries requires that we have a larger base of operations in Asia for the production of our products close to our customers. After considering a number of possible locations, we selected Penang for the construction of a facility for our Asian customers. Clearly, this location offers Hemanetics the proximity we need to that customer base. But when we look closely, we found that Penang offers so much more. A number of key component suppliers and medical equipment manufacturers are doing business here in Penang. Penang is central to the region we intend to serve. And we found that this area has excellent access to talent and technologies to support our operations. As we reviewed our product supply chain, we recognized that we need to stay close to critical suppliers such as Sanmina. As I mentioned earlier, Hemanetics has partnered with Sanmina for the future production of our current medical devices and our next generation devices as well. Sanmina is a leading global provider of integrated manufacturing solutions, components, 
product and repair, logistics, and aftermarket services for the medical industry. Their combination of advanced technologies, extensive manufacturing expertise, and economies of scale will enable Sanmina to meet our specialized equipment needs in a cost-effective manner. Sanmina will produce our devices right here at their facilities in Penang, and their R&D capabilities here are an exciting element of our future innovation. Penang is a cost-effective alternative for hemanetics disposables production as well, offering both an advantageous cost position and economic stability for the future. Those leaders I recognized in their organizations work tirelessly with our own team to ensure that our initiative is an economical one. However, in our industry, there is a much greater importance than economics. Our products must be safe. They must be produced and delivered with the highest possible quality for each and every patient. We deliver unmatched quality in the United States, Italy, Scotland, and Mexico because our employees there accept nothing less. They are dedicated, capable, and responsible people who understand the critical needs of patients. They never, ever compromise on quality. So I can assure you that the single most important reason that we selected Penang is the ready access to an equally skilled, educated, and dedicated workforce. Penang has proven itself to provide qualified technical and business managers as well as skilled workers that are needed to produce our products. We're confident that the quality of our Penang produced products will meet or exceed the very high standards we've set for ourselves elsewhere. So our company is excited, and I'm personally very excited for the future we have here together. We look forward to a long and productive relationship and much success together. I thank you for being with here, being here with us today to celebrate this significant milestone. First, I'd like to thank Humanetics for inviting me for this luncheon to celebrate their groundbreaking ceremony of their facility in Asia. And of course, to thank Humanetics again for choosing Penang as your principal site. I would like to say that uh, it has been a great honour for Penang to be a host for Humanetics, principally because I think we share many of the uh, approaches as well as the corporate philosophy that has driven Humanetics to the pinnacle in your industry. And Penang shares, I think, the same uh, DNA, if I can mention that. As I was uh, talking to Brian just now, I mentioned that uh, they have the same motto as Penang. Humanetics uh, motto is leading the way. Penang's motto is Penang leads. <laughs> Great institutions think alike. <laughs> so I think in that respect, uh, uh, having the same DNA helps because we are driven by the same values. Uh, the pursuit of excellence, uh, the recognition that the most important resource is not human, re it's not natural resource, but human resource, and of course, nothing is more important than in, than the integrity and the quality of our product. That we must be honest not only to our staff but also to our customers, and we of course adopt the same approach. In that respect, I think that uh, uh, for Humanetics to choose Penang is a very right fit. Because, as I said, we share the same DNA. In that respect, I think Penang is focused on building an ecosystem that allows uh, top companies like Humanetics uh, to choose Penang. Um, we believe that uh, we have to seek convergence, not just in the manufacturing services, but also in the public sector. Uh, the public sector can play a role either as a facilitator or a frustrator. And we believe that when you talk about convergence, without the public sector playing its important role as a facilitator, you cannot be a catalyst to economic growth. Instead, you'll be uh, you know, a blockage, uh, a preventer of economic growth. And in order to fulfill uh, that objective of seeking convergence. It is very important that we do the right things. As I mentioned earlier,
focusing on, of course, uh, making Penang to be a livable city that is safe, clean, green, and healthy. Number two, ensuring maximum governance, but minimum government. Maximum governance, but minimum government. So that not only can we solve problems, but we also can ensure that we expect individual responsibility to help to solve these problems. And thirdly, I think, uh, in, has important is, of course, uh, to uh, increase uh, the talent pool. And here we are not only talking about uh, educational facilities, but also getting the private sector to be involved. And one of our proud successes is the Penang Science Council, where Ms. Yeni Lim is one of the pillar heads for Penang Science Council, where we want to establish Penang as a centre of excellence for science and technology in Malaysia. Not just in terms of uh, holding international science fairs, but building tech centres so that we can have a year-round showcase to rekindle interest in science and technology amongst the young. I've said this many times, that for Penang to succeed, we must train the future best and brightest, especially in science and engineering fields. And in this regard, uh, we are concerned that uh, some of the brighter students find that science and engineering is not as glamorous as accountancy and lawyers. So I think we need to correct that misperception. And the Penang Tech Centre and the Penang Science Council is playing that role. And we believe that uh, we can succeed because it is not driven by government. Neither is it driven by academia. We have nothing against academia, we have nothing against government, but you know, some people in academia, they tend to talk more than they do. Whereas those in government tend to block everything you want to do. Unlike those in the private sector, they want to do more than they talk. So that's why we feel that when you talk about science and technology, uh, we do not deny the importance of uh, government and academia. We want them to also come in to give their inputs, but it must be driven by the private sector. Because not only do they know how to do, they also know how to do it right. Take into account their sensitivity and their understanding of market demands. So for that reason, we are very confident that with the Penang Science Council and Penang Tech Centre being driven by the private sector, uh, we would be able to forge ahead and continue to supply the available talent that is demanded by companies like Humanetics. After all, we want to assure Humanetics and Brian here that not only will we have the best talent that you can see now, but we want to assure you that this supply will be continued five years, ten years from now with our emphasis on good quality education. And finally, of course, where we share, share the same values, is Penang aspires to be the first green state in Malaysia. We have, of course, no plastic bag rulings. Uh, we have, uh, where if you buy stuff in the supermarket, you have to bring either your own shopping bag or you've got to carry them home. We don't give you free plastic bags. We have the highest recycling rate in the country at 30%, when the national target is 20% by 2020. Well, we've already achieved 30% now. And of course, our emphasis on ensuring that uh, we carry out sustainable development. And recycling is very important to Penang, to Penang and we are very uh, inspired by the fact that we have got the first real recycler, Humanetics, in Penang. <laughs> and why do I say that Humanetics is the first real recycling company? Because when I was looking at the South, South, salvage cell uh, facility offered, cell salvage, is it? What is that? That, that, I've got that around. Cell salvage is offered by human beings. It suddenly struck me, you're doing recycling, you know. <laughs> you're actually using, well, shed blood and return it to the original user. And that's a very useful way of recycling. 
And it was done when I asked David just now. He said it was done in the 1980 when recycling was not invoked. At that time, nobody was thinking about recycling as a business. But humanetics was already there. So I want to, of course, uh, give this tribute to the first real recycler. Humanetics. <laughs> and of course, since uh, we are also very focused on recycling and the green state, here again, it fits snugly the DNA of Penang. And finally, uh, the fact that uh, we want to have uh, a productive, fruitful uh, relationship with uh, humanities, we want to make Penang livable and of course very comfortable for those who are working here. Uh, not only Penang has the most livable city in Malaysia, but also focus on transforming Penang to be an international and intelligent city. International, international benchmarking. That's very straightforward. Intelligent, what do you mean by intelligent? Many forms of intelligence. But one very important area of intelligence that we are focusing upon is digital intelligence. Because you cannot run away from computers and internet nowadays. That's why you find that Penang is the only city and the only state in Malaysia that offers free Wi-Fi in public places. So just in case some of the experts do not know, we offer you free Wi-Fi. I think with that remarks, I would like again to welcome Humanetics to Penang and hope that you would also increase and widen uh, your services and your facilities here, not just manufacturing, R&D, but also shared services. I think you can see that there's a lot of opportunities uh, for shared services, uh, for human ethics in Penang. Thank you very much. Thank you so much to uh, Chia.